Hello Scorpio, how are you guys doing this week? In today's reading, which these readings are daily, we're kind of like looking at the rest of the week for you. So let's get some energies out. I've already dropped a card. I don't know what's up with me. I keep dropping cards. Um, a nice card to come up on a Monday, <laughs> which is the Eight of Swords energy, Eight of Voices. Let's see what else comes up for you guys. The star card in the reverse position. Let's see what else comes in. You've got some lifting of restriction this week. Yeah, you're ending a really stressful time. Um, this is something that you're letting go of. This is an excellent first three cards that has come up here. So, Scorpio, whatever has been bothering you, if there has been something that hasn't been exactly what you wanted it to be, with the star card being here, it kind of tells me that something you hoped would be amazing. I mean, this can be a relationship. It can be absolutely anything. There was almost like something that you put your heart into. You hoped it would be the star energy. It can even be something that you started with, a work-related situation, but it can also be a person as well. I kind of like feel like um, you've come to a realization that this is not maybe for you or it's not exactly the way that you want it to be. Whatever this is, if this is a person's energy or if this is a work-related situation or even something that you've been working on that you wanted to, almost like I wanted to make something come true. That's the kind of feeling I'm getting from the star card. I wanted to make something come true. I wanted to make my dreams come true. They can even be with a person. It has been anything but that, unfortunately, with the star card being in the reverse position. You thought it would go to an amazing place, but all it's been has been the Eight of Swords. I do feel like the Eight of Swords was not in the reverse position. It's been in the, um, in the upright position, which is more negative energy because cause of the eight of the ten of inspiration being here which is the ten of wands energy um i feel like you've been stressed out about the situation and there's a decision i think that you are making i picked this up this week's readings a lot nobody's taking nonsense this week all the zodiac signs yes yes this is what we need to do in our lives um the ten of wands tells me ending of a cycle and the releasing of what has been stressing you out for quite some time. Because you literally had to go from the ace to the ten. So you went through all to ace, one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to the ten. And this has been getting more worse and worse as it's been going along. And here you go. Yeah, as you're releasing energy. So is this as well. You're putting this down. And yeah, as you're releasing energy, it's almost like a complete relief that's happening to you. It's like I'm completely releasing everything that's holding me back and everything that no longer serves me wow yes scorpio this is amazing let's see what other cards come up here you're going to be more than focused on building a new life here um with the magician card and the chariot card nice and this is so interesting i think the previous reading literally had the same for libra i think i literally had the same cards in the same position very interesting um with the chariot card being here, this is you completely moving in a new direction, away from what this star card represents to you, a new beginning without a doubt here. This is the two of pentacles, it's in the reverse position, again, saying I'm releasing something. I saw it over here already, there it's just confirmation. I am releasing what no longer serves me. I am moving in the direction that is right for me. Love this energy, and you are beyond focused in doing so. Um, with the magician card being here, wow, in the reverse position. You know, one of the ways I like to think of the magician card in the reverse position, say for instance, you know, we go to gym. I mean, I do go to gym, yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> um, we go to gym maybe two, three times a week. Yeah, that's the magician energy. I'm dedicated to my own fitness. You know, you keep the steady flow of it. When you see the magician card in the reverse position, you're deciding to run a marathon that's going to take you like maybe eight hours, you know, or you're deciding to join, the, uh, you know, do an Olympic training. That's the magician card in the reverse position. It's not just, okay, I'm going to fix my life. It's like, I'm going to go to the next level that no one has ever seen me go before. And this is what's happening right here. And to do so, by the way, we have to release things that hold us back. I'm just saying we have to release what is holding us back. And sometimes um, I got to tell you on this from this point of view, because I'm picking up this kind of energy. Look at this. The healing begins. Yes, you're releasing unbelievable six of swords energy. Definitely walking away from something that has been stressing you out. Opening up your world. What I can tell you. If we are in a relationship and we've got goals in our world and our relationship is not 
perfect. It is going to cause problems beyond um, the relationship. It will cause problems in the dreams that we have in our world as well, because it makes our energy go off balance. And when our energies go off balance, it makes everything go off balance. Same thing can be the other way around as well. If we, for instance, are working and we've got a terrible work environment, it is also going to cause stress in the home environment as well and in our relationships. I feel like you're releasing that. It is complete. So look at this. The next card out, yes, you are going to be very well rewarded for what you are doing. Excellent, unbelievable. This is a nine of pentacles. If this is with regards to a relationship, it definitely means the relationship will go stronger. If this is you walking away from a relationship, you're going to stand so tall and so proud and you will be just fine. Financially, if you're worried about anything financially, don't even think about it. Well-deserved reward. Look at the stability. That is an amazing foundation and you will just shine. You will be so well supported in whatever it is you are doing. And I think it's because of your unbelievable dedication and determination that I'm seeing here. And this is great energy. What a Monday morning read. I love it so much. you unbelievable. You got a new beginning coming in. Go for it. The reward is going to be something unbelievable. You got you ending a cycle. You moving into a complete new beginning. And I can't believe this. <laughs> Out comes the chariot card again. Literally on top of the chariot card. Um, this is go for it. I'm just going to say go for it. By the way, if you like this reading, please hit that thumbs up button, even subscribe so you know when tomorrow's readings come out. But guys, this is an unbelievable reading. This has got to be the best reading I've done for today. Um, I feel so inspired by your reading. i got to tell you, keep doing exactly what you're doing. Whatever decisions you're making, if you're thinking about walking away from a connection that no longer serves you with a full card being here because of where it's been, because of the stress that you've carried, you are heading, Spirit Guide is literally telling you twice, in the right direction. Um, you got the Gemini, um, uh, the... Uh, the, the cancer energy that has come up here twice with this chariot card as well. You are 100% heading in the right direction. There is no other way. You also got, by the way, the Aquarius energy that has popped up in this reading with that star card being in the reverse position. Maybe somebody that you're dealing with here with these energies that I've mentioned, but you're doing the right thing without a doubt. This is the path that you're meant to be on. This is where you're meant to go. You're on the right track beautiful reading Scorpio. Thank you so much for coming in. I am sending you all love and light moving forward. Have an amazing rest of your day. Bye.